you ask just about any SVS student what they're going to do today, uh, chances are you're not going to get a very articulate answer. Maybe because they don't want to talk to you, but it's probably because uh, they don't know. But if you ask them like what you're interested in, I mean, that's, that's a whole different story. You'll probably get a very, very articulate answer. And a student not knowing exactly what they're going to do, but knowing what they like, just going to immerse themselves in whatever interest that they have, whatever activity. It's a beautiful campus. It is soothing to come into. Uh, I feel like when you pull into the parking lot at school, it's just kind of escaping into our own little world where we can do whatever we want. We can do what we need to do without people interfering with that. You see how many green cards we have? I gave you all of mine. We have like 20. There's lots of different types of kids who come to Sudbury Valley School. Some have been here their whole lives. Some have just been here a couple of years. I spent four years at Sudbury Valley. And in my thesis, I like split up those four years um, into a different section because each one I had like a, a uniquely different um, learning experience. And I had a, like a higher order of thinking every, every successive year. In my first year, I really spent most of that year just playing video games. One particular video game, actually. A lot of parents and a lot of people who don't know the Sudbury model like ask me, like, well, don't kids just play video games all day? And like, well, what if my kid just plays video games all day? And uh, I mean, that's, that's exactly what I did, and I certainly have no regrets. I did have a, a pretty close-knit group of friends who all shared the same exact interests as I did. And uh, we were intensely involved in that community. I mean, it was, it was just like anything else that you would be really intensely involved in. It just happened to be video games for us. How do you control it? Oh, uh, here you go. How will you ever survive there? I'm <laughs> still on death. Because it's evil bouncy balls. Why? Well, I can't find a safe spot. Actually, gotta fix this glitch. Yeah, well, in a couple couple minutes, you'll be blown away by my programming prowess. We studied those video games just like an economist would would study the stock market. And I think anything that you put effort into, that type of effort into, would yield some growth in any manifestation. A couple years ago at the picnic, I got together a five-on-five uh, -five basketball game just because we had a lot of players here and it just seemed like a good idea. And after that was done, I realized I had a lot of fun. So when the school year started up, I just decided to start up my own basketball tournament. Hey guys, there's 10 seconds left. No one is forced to play. If you want to play, then we all have a great time. And there's little kids and there's big kids and there's medium-sized kids. We really try and make it as fair as possible. Athletics of the school take a big part in more than just my life. People are running around, playing tag, playing sports, throwing around frisbee, swinging. I mean, when it's sunny and it's nice outside, you see people running around. And when it's raining outside and there's snow on the ground, we still play basketball at school. Could someone take a video? Press the center button and start filming. What? Press what? Center button. Okay. Is it filming? There's escalator rock, there's either lunge rock, turtle rock, and there's another name for it, but I forget. Staircase rock. Just what are you doing? Climbing. Are you getting up this way? Yes, it's funny. Get me a challenge. This is more challenging. <clears throat> yeah. What? That? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's possible. Getting, yeah, well, everything's possible. Yeah. Before coming to Sudbury Valley School, I'd played guitar. It was a, a growing interest in the background. And then the summer after the first year, I spent some time at um, Berklee College of Music. In a, in a guitar program. And it was like I had used my ears for the first time. In my second year, 
I was spending lots more time rehearsing for the SBS music productions that we put on a couple of times a year, and I was focusing a lot on that on that stuff. And it shifted from that all video games to almost almost all music throughout that year, and that was that was my major focus. I really like being able to focus on something that really takes my interest and in having as much time as I want really to focus on it or not focus on it if I'm not interested. Upside down. Good. And put something in there. Whatever color you want. I can mix colors. Can you mix it in here? Good. They actually took away my art program at my old school and I couldn't get through the day without art and now I can do it all day and I have the freedom to do it and to explore different mediums and explore different techniques and I think that's really important in anything you do to have that sort of freedom. Let's stop there. I think it's good Elizabeth. I think um, what I'm going to do is hook you and June together at this point because I just wanted to make sure that you were solid with the song, that you're solid. And I, she knows the piano part. Yeah. So now the two of you will put together an awesome band. Cool. I mostly play classical music. This year I've been focusing on Debussy, Haydn, and now I'm working on a Chopin piece. At the moment I've got most of it roughed in, but I'm just working on this new section that I haven't really looked at before. I love having the pianos here at school because I can play just about whenever I want. There's a second piano up in the barn, so if this one's busy, I've always got another one. So I can practice for three hours a day if I want to. I mean, seriously, that monster is not big, but it's actually amazingly scary. The thing I like about making the movies is that I like the when you're done and you get to watch it and say that you made that movie. The scene that I'm working on is about where the major gets taken captive by the humongous and is put in with all the other little kids that were taken by the humongous. Well, it first started out as a box, obviously. Um, then we got some foam pieces. We, what did we, Aaron, what did we do to stick these on? duct tape them on, and then we got exp um, expanding foam, and then had it as a snow monster, and then we spray painted it for the spring monster. Yesterday, I, when I was filming, I had 15 kids up here, and at times that was chaotic. We're six days into filming, and we have three days left. <laughs> fundraiser for the Music Corp. All the money that we're raising goes to the Music Corp to help buy instruments and supplies so we can play more music at the school. Hi now. What? Well, pickle. I'm getting one meal, so yes, I am getting a pickle. How much? No. One. Does anyone here want an extra pickle? Take the pickle then. Yeah. I don't like pickles. I love pickles. I hate pickles. I love them. The Music Corp is a bunch of people who like music, so they have meetings, and you can be a director, so you get to vote on stuff for the Music Corp for what they buy, and they have meetings whenever they want to decide something important that has to do with musical instruments or fundraising or something like that. The shows happen four times a year. And people start getting ready for them since like the last show. People start rehearsing and practicing and deciding what songs they want. I'm usually in the shows every year and it's a lot of fun to be in them and see everybody and usually the whole school goes to them. My third year was it was a little bit of a contrast to the to the first two in that I was in the first two I had like a hobby that I was I was doing all the time. I was always busy with that. Um, and then my third year I spent a lot more time in the sewing room, which is a particular room of Sudbury Valley School that sees like the most amount of traffic, the most amount of conversation. It's a very, very crazy place. And I spent a lot of time in there just conversing and observing and listening to all these types of things being talked about. 
My most critical thinking was done during that year. I spent a lot of time just writing essays because I had talked so much uh, in the sewing room. We had so many both strange and intense uh, conversations. There was a lot of things that I, I wanted to not forget. <laughs> a lot of quotes from the day. And at first I was, I was just like jotting them down and then eventually I was writing full essays um, in an effort to not, to not lose any of the stuff that I thought was productive. Well, towards the end of my third year, I came to a couple of conclusions and I realized that while I absolutely love music, um, that I wouldn't make a career out of it. And I had sort of an intense, absolute passion for, for cognitive sciences and neuroscience, which came out of, of thinking about how we perceive music and how, you know, how music is such a fundamental aspect of you know, our cognitive processes. And more and more I decided that I was going to need to work up to a traditional like, college education to be able to go into this field. I call my fourth year like my adult year. I worked full-time job as a computer technician, but I also spent a lot of time formulating the plans and putting together like what I would have to do, what I'd have to accomplish to be able to, to get accepted by a university. There's a quality about Sudbury Valley School kids that whether they like it or not, they're absolutely unique. Uh, they have a really, really unique educational background. The school gave me the gift of time to let my own interests rise to the surface. When you sit down to paint, you don't just sit and paint. You have to think about what you're doing and why. Any creative effort, perhaps any effort at all, requires a great deal of thought even reading a book. You don't just read a book, you think about what you read, otherwise you're doing it for nothing. The school gave us the gift of time to relax, to have those things come to the surface that were there. It gave us time for reflection, for the introspection that you need to really develop your own creativity. I think that's a remarkable thing.